for their best men do way. Fail ho! Military class bring on the horizon. Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? So die! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to quarters. All hands to cannon. Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels against them, shall we? All right, good thinking.
Blew up! Stands up! Let's get moving! to the wind. Sponsors, let's ride this quarrel.
That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and drive our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official. See the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking.
say the danger has passed. Reefing in all top. Douse those gallons. Hold. Hold. Douse all sail. Hold hearty, lads. Fill those men. Lose the lawman, friend. Puedo ayudarlo con algo? You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, it's But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you, gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea.
certainly hope every man jack of them is rotting in a filthy chair. Why, look! It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. <laughs> Mr. Beckford knows our friend, and with a quality he knows is sound. Aye, it is hearty molasses and raw cane. That's a given. It gladdens me to hear your saying so. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friend before. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with the captain. Now we came to quite an understanding. As you see, sir. All up and unfurl, boys. We're going home. And crafting a bold idea. Look, I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Drowned it all on! Ride the wind, for all she's worth! Douse all but me! So well done, sir! Hold on, it. it's trouble of four. I see them! More sail! All sail! 
man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. The hard process making sugar. Dangerous. It must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation, day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers and across the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in batches made of cotton. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, it will stick like wood line and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. here why such disarray bit of a do sir that's all it's wilmington's birthday and you saw fit to get pickled on duty no bother sir we've everything sorted we'll soon see won't we for you must double the watch this evening double sir whatever for i believe i was followed here young man by pirates if my eyes on me, though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though, not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch, and keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. 
Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! Stop already! Hey, it's the lady! It's a move on! I deny a snails! What's he on about? He must have taken that supper.
That'll do. And how? Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous, and free, and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, We'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. And make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. <laughs> 